From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. I'm Roger Suzanne, and we have several big stories that we're tracking for you, so let's get right into it. A five-month-old baby from Plainfield is recovering right now in the hospital as police investigate a potential child abuse case. The investigation began Wednesday night in the War Egan section of Plainfield. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you the exact location on your screen. The baby was injured badly, according to police, and emergency responders rushed them all the way to Connecticut Children's Medical Center in Hartford. At this point, no one has been arrested, but the State Police Major Crimes Unit is investigating today. And we are learning much more about a deadly shooting in Hartford. Police tell us one person was killed and another victim was injured in a blast of violence that happened late last night on Laurel Street. When officers arrived, they found both victims lying in the street, suffering from gunshot wounds. Police didn't tell us anything about the person who was injured, but they say the man who died was in his 20s. And police arrest a whopping five people who they say orchestrated a shooting in Hartford. Investigators say detectives who were in an unmarked car spotted the gunshots being fired right near Broad Street. Police officers responded and chased the suspects onto 84 East. Eventually, officers were able to stop the car in Manchester and after a short foot pursuit, investigators took five people into custody. Meanwhile, we're told the shooting victim, a woman in her 30s, luckily is going to be okay. All right, in the wake of a cold front, beautiful weather for the end of the week and as well for the weekend. Future cast indicating lots of sunshine to the end of our Friday, throughout the course of Saturday, as well as for Sunday. Outside of just some puffy fair weather clouds, should see a good amount of sunshine all the way through uh, the weekend. Also a big headline, of course, the temperatures, as they're going to be a little bit below average. Normal highs around 84. Uh, we're looking at near 80 on Saturday, around 84 on Sunday. But a bigger headline will be the decreasing humidity and uh, that drier air will lead to some cool mornings. We're talking about lows in the 50s. A normal low is in the lower 60s and some of the usual cooler spots say Saturday night, Sunday morning in the Northwest Hills could actually dip into the upper 40s. The next week, a transition from tranquil to unsettled, increasing cloudiness on Monday. Chance for some late day showers. You get better chance for some rain on Tuesday. Some of that rain could linger into Wednesday. If it's scattered showers or downpours, too early to tell, but we'll keep you updated, of course, as we get closer in time.